Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. A while ago I showed you this new AR6 Stinger 2 in the compact version that actually is probably the fast shootest uh, pistol crossbow in the world because it has this straight pullback method so that I can cock it by simply stretching it out and then cocking it like so and then I can shoot and then I can do this again and again and again until the magazine is empty. Now that's very fast shooting but I was thinking there's two issues with this. First of all in Germany we have the legal issue that this is a crossbow so we have to keep it under lock and key. It's not readily available when you hear a burglar in your house. And the second issue is that you can no longer attach a laser to it uh, because now it's considered a weapon and it's illegal in Germany to attach a laser or a flashlight to a weapon. But, but here comes my idea. See, this is easy. It's very easy to cock and it's, there's no lever effect. It's a straight cocking action, like so. Oops. <laughs> and, um, and again, you know, so I could do this just like I would draw back a bow, like so. If I can do this, can we turn this into a bow? Can I use the limb set to make a tiny yet very deadly bow? I think I can, and even in a repeating tactical version. Let me show you what I came up with. <laughs> the smallest repeating bow in the world. <laughs> Let me show you its features. <laughs> so cool. You know, I invented these tiny bows before, and actually this part is half of Lukasz Janikowski's great uh, Legolini. <laughs> but normally it is powered by rubber bands and it has a difference so this, so this piece is the same but the holder piece is actually completely new and I made it from plywood um, and uh, because the original one works with rubber and rubber is fairly weak and also not really reliable if you keep this out in the open for longer than two months the rubber will deteriorate um, and now of course I replaced it with the bow. As you see I simply installed it here and then I needed something to hold on to whereas I can't really hold on to the bow itself that would be too tiny and it would also slap my hand very much. So I attached a sideways holder that allows me to do this very comfortably and also allows me to really draw this out where my arms have full power. So not all the way bunched together but with a distance so I can use my muscles to their full effectiveness. So it's very easy for me and on top of this of course I install the laser so I have a laser sight that does all the uh, aiming for me and I think this is the fastest shooting repeating arrow shooter in the world. Of course it still retains Lukas' uh, great method to refill the, uh, the, uh, the bolts, very simple and easy and of course uh, I also had to in uh, enhance it a little bit because the shock is now so much greater since the pretension of this bow is so much uh, stronger than the rubber that I actually had to file in grooves here and then glue in because these two parts actually uh, would not hold together because of the shock of the bow. How fast can we shoot? Well, let's try to fire all six shots. Okay, and go. Was that quick or was that quick? It's fast, it's reliable, is it deadly? Well, these are the uh, field tips like training bolts from Steamboat, but Steamboat also has these. And actually there is a video on the internet where someone uses one of these with a very weak Stinger one with the uh, weak uh, uh, limb and he actually kills two wild boar uh, with it because they're so sharp. Actually, I hurt myself many times on this because you only have to really touch it to cut yourself. So this is very lethal, even at low speed. We're gonna test uh, how well this works with a deadly broadhead like this one here. We're gonna use one of uh, Rolfi's empty dog food cans. And this is not the thin like Coke can stuff. This is the solid stuff used for dog food. Let's see what happens when you fire one of these into it. Okay, let's load in three of them. It's 
switch on the laser sight and then let's have a go. <laughs> first shot, first hit. So I hit it a little bit upside down, of course, it was a lower position and it actually went through both sides of the can even though I didn't even hit it right in the middle. Well, I have one more can, let's try again. Okay. Ah. <laughs> Hard shot. So this time it got even more clear that this is definitely not a toy. Anything that can penetrate one of these cans, uh, both sides and through the water, definitely is a deadly weapon. Will I bring this into production? Well, I'm actually thinking about it. I'm actually talking about this to Steamboat, the Austrian manufacturer. Of course, this needs to be made from uh, serious material. Also, it needs to look, uh, I think, a little bit more aggressive. I also think that this handle can be shorter because we really don't need the entire handle here so that it has a flatter profile. And we are also thinking about making the uh, throwing arm a little longer, so long, like approximately as long as the adder uh, uh, front end is, um, so that also the draw is a little longer than this one and this would really turn it into an even more serious weapon. Um, so it would be even more legit than this one. What do I think about it? I actually think it's a great concept because this has so much more power than the rubber-based version and still it's absolutely controllable. It's small, it's legal, you can attach a laser. It's great for shooting fun with uh, field tips, but it also is a very lethal weapon if you load it with broadheads. <laughs> and one thing it is for sure, a lot of fun. <laughs> I hope that you like it because... That's it for today. Thanks and... Bye. Bye. Got two more shots just for you. Oops. I think that was actually a Robin Hood hit. <laughs> bye bye.